Hey Calvary, uh, it's Pastor Chad and I'm excited to be sharing with you here on uh, what seems like day five of the coronavirus shutdown where the world has come to a halt. And we want to offer some encouraging words to you uh, and anyone you share this video with, because we'd love for you to share it, uh, about how to uh, thrive when everything inside of us is, is focused on the negative, on how many more cases are reported and anybody sick around me and when's, when's it gonna hit here and what do we need to do and do I really have to stay in my house all the time? And, and all of these negative thoughts that keep piling on us and all the anxieties that wanna weigh us down uh, I want to share with you verses that have been changing my life since I was a teenager. Uh, from Philippians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul says, uh, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And Paul goes on to say, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is pure, whatever is right, whatever is lovely, if there's any excellence or anything worthy of praise, think on these things. Think on these things. Now, uh, what's Paul saying to us? He, he's really saying, first of all, uh, take your concerns to God. I, I hope as your uh, day has been changed in its structure that you're finding some time to be alone with God, maybe early in the morning, maybe late at night, maybe in the middle of the day, that you're taking some time to really pray. Because as you spend time face to face with God, uh, you're going to find peace, peace that's not going to come from any place else as you take your concerns. And God doesn't mind hearing your concerns over and over and over again. All right. So pray for your loved ones. Pray for uh, your anxieties. Uh, just ask God to give you that peace that passes understanding. And then if you really want to achieve that, do that last part. Whatever is true, honorable, pure, lovely, right, of good report, if there's any excellence or worthy of praise, think on these things. Can I just tell you that whatever you think about is what you're going to become? That, that's why we want you to read the Bible. That's why we give Bibles away at Calvary, because we want you to read Scripture and let God speak to you. Uh, we want you to think about positive things, encourage the people around you to think about positive things. So let me give you a couple of real practical uh, steps. Uh, number one, as a part of Calvary, you have access to uh, a library of videos called Right Now Media. Right Now Media uh, has videos for kids. It has Bible stories for kids. It has videos for adults. It has couples, uh, you know, building videos. It has uh, Bible teaching videos. Can I just encourage you that uh, balance your time between Netflix and, and some of the materials that are online at Right Now Media so that you can feed your soul and think on good things? Uh, you want to learn some more? There's also uh, videos available on YouTube. Can I encourage you, if you want to know more about Jesus, that you would check out the Alpha videos. Here at Calvary, we offer Alpha classes on a regular basis. There's just kind of an introductory uh, series to what it means to be a Christian and what Christians believe. And you can access all of those online on YouTube. So that's Alpha, A-L-P-H-A, just like, like it sounds. And it's just the beginning point. Uh, that's a great resource. Uh, and, and by the way, if you have trouble accessing any of these, just email us at the church, calvarylhc.com. We'll be glad to, to help you get connected to Right Now Media or help you find the alpha videos uh, if we can. Uh, let me say one more thing. Uh, as we're walking this road and, and as we're doing our first weekend of online only services, it, it's a new day. But we're still the church. And we want to encourage you. We want to pray for you. We want to be available to you. If you need help, just ask. We're here. And, uh, and if God is touching you and leading you and you want to tell people that you're a follower of Jesus, we do that through baptism. And even though we can't gather as the church, guess what? A few of us can get together and we can baptize and we can video that and it can be part of our weekend services. So if, uh, if God is working in your life or maybe you've been a follower of Jesus for a while and you've just never had the courage to get baptized because you don't like crowds, now's the perfect moment. So uh, we want to help you grow in Christ. We want you to help you think on those things that are pure and lovely and good and excellent and worthy of praise because that's going to change your attitude and give you a lot more peace.